For Trump. She rolled away. Catch up to me. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> this is a little harder than it there you looks. Go. Trump 2020. Mm. All right. Patriot soapbox. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm coming. Oh, you Yay! Trump! 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 All right. Trump! Trump! Yep. Trump! From my tribe, I I can't. I'm not Cherokee. Um, Chippewa. Chippewa. All right. Yeah. Four more years. Four yeah. more years. Look at that flag. All right. All right. That's the way to go. All right. Wow. Look at this. We did so far. We don't know when yet.
<laughs> she said a John James sticker. All right. Woo! He's our guy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Love it. You know our channel, too. Bless you for being She's here. National Thank you. Right. Okay, I gotta take a break. Okay, we need a break. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. From 2020! Yay! Alright! Yeah, that's what. Four more years! Alright! We are awake! How long have you been here? See, it's 9 o'clock. Whoa! 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Wow. And I drove two hours and 40 minutes. From where? Toledo. Wow. Oh, wow. From That's Toledo. a drive. Hey, it's all worth it. Oh, yes, it yes. is. What do you see inside? Oh, oh yeah. Really cool. Is it? Oh, yes, it is. Awesome. Yeah, I was at his rally in Toledo in, in February the 9th when he had it there and I waited eight hours oh, to get my out. Goodness. But it was all worth it. Oh, I mean, he delivered throughout the whole entire rally. It what was What a awesome. patriot. What a patriot. <laughs> Are you from Mexico? From I'm from Honduras. Honduras? Oh. Yes. He calls it the hell hole, but it's true. He's not lying. <laughs> He's a hell hole. <laughs> I know. I was born there. I don't mean to interrupt or to like eavesdrop, but I just want to say this is awesome because I'm a veteran and this is exactly the reason I am glad that I fought is for people like you to come over and, and do good things for our and country. And come here I am not, yeah. legally. That's right. That's right. Come here legally. I and did I it the right you. way. You're an American just like Yay! I am. Yay! Yay! Right. Okay. That's right. And that's yeah. what our president supports. And that's what he's all about. Living the American dream. It's okay to come legally. And you cannot come and use the taxpayer dollars and expect the taxpayer dollars to go to give you welfare and housing and insurance. But we Americans don't get a nickel. What the hell? That's okay. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Here we go from Patriot Soapbox. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for telling your story. Proud to be an American. Uh, I was in six years. Wow. Six years to course. Yep. Yep. Twice. Fallujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Ah, thank you. No, I'm just. I'm. I'm glad. You know, it's. You read this narrative in the news that you know everybody's so divided and everybody's this and everybody's that and it's like I just had to say that to that lady because to me that's that's America like that that is exactly what I stand for is people coming over doing the right thing contributing to our country I don't care what color your skin is I don't care what country you were born in come to America be an American and I got you we support that wholeheartedly oh thank we you we have so many vets on our channel yeah and um Check us out. Oh, yeah, definitely, for sure. Really? I just want to say this, too, just going to be out there. I'm from Sanford. We just had our whole town wiped away yeah. by a disaster. Thank you, Donald Trump, for getting that disaster declaration as fast as you did because we needed it. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Uh, we needed it. it we was still awful. need it. Yes. Yes. We still it need it. It was awful there. It was absolutely awful. It looked like a town. Yeah, our, our town looked like, I can't even think about it without crying. It looked like a bomb went off. It really did. And it's, our town's practically the size of this airport. So when there's, everything is gone. The lake was it's gone. gone. The whole lake was it's, gone. It's, it's yeah. unbelievable to look at all that and know that my child doesn't get to experience those, you know, camp or the bow or the restaurants downtown. And, you know, a lot of people might think it's nothing special, but it was special to us. Did you lose it? I did not, thankfully. No, I did not lose it. A lot of my friends did. I'm lucky. I was a fine Well, we're going we're, we're gonna to be um, taping, so... Yell to President, thank you from Sanford. He will hear you. Hell yeah. This little one right here, I like I know it's such a far out fetch, but he wants to shake the president's hand so bad. And I am so hoping that one of the staffers will come by and talk to us and we can tell him like, yeah, we're so thankful and my son just is so happy you got that disaster disaster declaration. And so yeah. Trump 2020. <laughs>
four million. What do you think about that story that came out about this, the Trump uh, remarks that Trump made about veterans saying he was disparaging soldiers and that? Did you hear that story? Yeah, you know, I didn't hear it honestly because I don't watch the news. I think it's so stupid. They only talk about how terrible he is, like 99.99% of the time. So I don't listen to it. When I do hear things about that, though. Most of the time, I feel like it was probably taken way out of context. Um, it was probably changed around. If he did say that, I'd really like to know, like, in what context he was speaking. Because somebody that does the things he does, I don't see him disrespecting veterans. I mean, like, Biden gets down on a knee for the flag. Yeah. Like, that's his right, but as commander in chief, yeah. you know, and so I. No, well, I don't, it came I don't from like anonymous that. sources, so yeah. You mean like the Clintons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm not here to. You know, it's one thing I, I can't stand the most is the division between people. I don't care really what political affiliation you're with, but don't make me feel bad because, you know, it's not. I just I don't listen. I'm just. I like my America. If you tune into our channel, okay. you will get the real news. We awesome. report the real news. That's what I want to know. Yeah, I don't. And I don't we need work, any of that. We basis. work. Our researchers and our reporters and our <laughs> are not very hard to make sure that the news is real and true and not biased, biased, bullshit, bullshit. Yeah. fake. I'll say it. Fake. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's good. Because I, I, after these four years, it's like I can't even watch stuff anymore. It's yeah. just, I just I'm glad. It's like, it on. why? It's a lie. Like, yeah. it's not, maybe it's veiled in truth, but like, it's not, it's not accurate by any means. So. Now, do you mind if I ask what you did in the Army? Yeah, I was a small arms and ammunition technician. So I took her guns, basically, small ammo. Oh, we and have two guys on our channel that would absolutely adore yeah. you. I'm <laughs> single. <laughs> no, I just know. <laughs> they would absolutely, they are gun nuts. And they would absolutely adore you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. Brought my hunting jacket today, so right. I kind of I, I like my firearms a little bit. <laughs> you go on the channel. Uh, their names are Thumper and Dead Cat. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, they would absolutely. They would talk an arm and a leg off you. Yeah. Did you hear that, Thumper and Dead Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Look. And she's single. <laughs> <laughs> Latinos uh, for Trump! Latinos for Trump! Uh, yeah! All right! Yoo-hoo! <laughs> okay. I have a user, you know, Kathy D, but I don't, um, I'm not on whatever that other thing is. What is Discord? it? Discord? Yeah, I'm not on that. No, I know so do you, you. Do you visit, do you visit Chad? Oh, on a rare occasion, I, I do. I don't comment you. much, but I listen all the time, and one of my favorite shows, frankly, is, um, um, Magaswaga and oh, <laughs> Salty oh. Crystal. Say hi, Magaswaga. So hi, Magaswaga. I listen to you guys every Tuesday and Thursday night while I'm lying in my bed going to sleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love you guys. Love um, I've tweeted Salty before um, that I listen to her. I love Patriot Soapbox. Um, I live here in Freeland, Michigan. And I found you guys when it was a black screen and it was pamphlet and on, and Radix wasn't even in it yet. and. I was lying in Aruba on a vacation, and I somehow found it, and I've been listening ever since, religiously. <laughs> Thank is... you for what you're doing. Um, God love you. Elect Trump. Oh, <laughs> pamphlet. Did you hear her? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep. You make me want to cry. Really? That is wonderful. Well, that, is just, that means so much to us. Yeah. Now, who are you? I'm all dramatic. Okay. This is Wake Up America. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I don't have a funny name. I try to stay um, in the background because I'm actually county commissioner here. So. Oh. Oh, you are. Yeah. You sure oh. you want that on camera? I honestly don't care. Okay. <laughs> Where is it going to go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is it's my district. Yeah. Hmm? Was there an RSBM? I don't know. 
Where, that guy right there? Yeah, I don't no. know. No, 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 no. no, I've met him before. He's part of a Trump campaign. Oh, oh. yeah, he's working for the Trump campaign. Mm. Yeah, I met Donald Trump in 2015. And here's my proof. He signed my tie. Mm -hmm. Oh, how and wonderful. And on August the um, 11th of 2015, Donald Trump came to Birch Run, Michigan, which is in Saginaw County. It was his second rally. He went to Arizona, and then we got him up here. My friend Amy Carl was the chair of the Republican Party. She communicated with Hope Hicks and Hope Hicks only. Uh -huh. And Trump came, he flew in, we sold $100,000 worth of tickets that day. We planned it in 11 days. It was the biggest hit ever. I knew that night he was gonna win, and that was 2015. I just felt it. Now I what was it. he like to, what was President Trump like to then, talk to? Mm -hmm. Well, he was very late, like an hour and a half because of weather, and he had to fly into Flint. I was able to greet him in the door when he first came in, and I did get my picture with him. And all I can remember, you can put this on cameras, when I put my arm around him, I said, my gosh, to myself, I've never felt a suit this soft. <laughs> Did he smell good? Yes, and he's real tall, and he's so kind. And he, you know, he went in and did a, a press conference. And believe it or not, you know Major Garrett from whatever, CBS maybe? Mm -hmm. He came to Birch Run, Michigan, Major Garrett, to cover that. Wow. That was big. Was Ben Carson with the president? No, Ben Carson. Oh, nobody darn. nobody was with him then. It was just him and Oh, um, that's right, because he was running against Ben Carson. Oh right? yeah. It that's was uh right. it was uh just two months after or a month and a half after he announced that he was running. So it was a pretty amazing event and just to see the excitement in the room of the people. They were patiently waiting when they waited so long. Uh, but it was fantastic, and so I, I knew we needed him back in Saginaw. Saginaw County went for, uh, voted for President Trump in 2016 by 1,000 votes. We need him here. We need him and in Michigan because... 1,000 votes, and we had not elected a Republican president since Reagan. That's right, we did, That's right. and we, he has got to take Michigan. Yeah. Do you and live so in Michigan? Savannah. Yes. Where yes. do you live? I live in Cotchell Township. Oh, come on! I'm your commissioner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm from Grand Rapids. Nice to meet you. That's my daughter. Yeah. I She's went also to the Grand Rapids rally the night before the election. So, mm. okay, we do you have a card. I we have a flyer. I don't know. I don't think I have all there of them. No, but do you have a personal card? Like, so. I left them home because I'm going to give you mine. Great, okay, great. This is a you live here and you've been involved with Patriot Soapbox. Mm -hmm. I've been with Patriot Soapbox since the very beginning. I love mm -hmm. it. Well, so the very beginning. So for me, it was January and February. Is your husband an attorney? No, my his uncle was. His uncle, okay. My husband's a dentist. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, that's why I know the name. He does mm -hmm. root canals. Mm -hmm. He's working today. <laughs> I think he did one for me. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so you, yeah, you get in touch with me. This is amazing. Yeah. I love, I love, um, um, why can't I think of his name? Good. Uh, well, I love a lot of them that have left, too. Um, but um, who's on with Thumper, um, the beard? Why can't I not think oh, of his he name? Used to be on no, with no, Thumper. no, no, the good guy that I love. He's on with Radix now. A lot. Dead Cat. Dead Cat. Why couldn't I? Sorry, Dead Cat. I, <laughs> I've known you since the beginning. I love him. I love his personality and his wit and his excitement, his passion. <laughs> We have some wonderful people on that channel. Yeah, do you have so your own dedicated. show then? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even call in. As a matter of fact, being on this camera is very unnerving. Oh, okay. <laughs>
now, I'm sorry, I'm on second page. Father, we have been summoned here by our nation to review our governing process, progress and productivity. We must examine with a fine-tooth comb the state of our faith, families, community, state, and our nation. Father, if we find ourselves experiencing any great deficits in any one of these areas, it is incumbent upon us to make a decision to alter our course with a ballot that would bring greater hope to the people of this great nation. Help us not to succumb to the salacious, slanderous attacks against this great republic portrayed to us by massive media productions. It is incumbent upon us to research the data, examine the facts, and then only, and then only make an intelligent decision to maintain the level of progress on all fronts we have experienced for almost four years. We must, we must not forget your plans to fortify our families, secure our foundations, purify our pleasures, and protect our freedoms. Father, help us to not succumb to the salacious subduction of the forces of darkness, thus advocating our position on the principles of this amazing sovereign document, the Constitution of the United States of America. not to be beguiled into second-guessing the purpose for which this sovereign document was conceived. We are obligated to protect this cause and principles as they provide for us the domestic tranquility and justice for all. We must continue to hold forth these truths to be self-evident that we all have been created equally by our Creator. And we are endowed with inalienable rights we must remind ourselves that these rights are not legislated, but graced to us by a divine created force that is more noble and purposeful than any of the shifting sands of change our society is attempting to beguile us with, thus causing us to stray away from the tenets of our great constitution, these sacred, trustworthy truths, which by the grace of God has helped us all these years. Father, help us not to be convinced by their sinister dark presentations that these truths are now antiquated and eroding because of social complexities of this new society. We must not allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by social injustice, police brutality, institutional racism, massive infanticide, increased violence, mild violence presented as peaceful public demonstrations to convince us to convince us that only black lives matter. We have been warned as a result of this chemical warfare released upon us, which incidentally is taking lives indiscriminately, that all lives matter. Therefore, we must, they must be protected, preserved, promoted, and purposely embraced. Father, we are rallying here today to be reminded that righteousness still exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to any people. So Father, we ask you to forgive us for allowing a small minority of people whose self-interest is only to promote dark campaigns, <coughs> campaigns that are designed to remove the moral conscience of America attempting to be a voice louder than that of the righteous majority. Who have rallied here are asking you to revive, resuscitate, regenerate the force of your righteousness throughout this region, across this nation, and around the world. Father, we pray for our President, Donald J. Trump. The leader of the free world and his fearless team, thank you for equipping them to continue to fight for our families this nation and embrace the favor required to fulfill our manifest destiny. We must support their efforts to forge ahead to, our, to higher ground so that when we, all of your people, arrive, we will be able to stand and rejoice with the anthem that we are free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty.
and reverence our God, honor according, respect each other and ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen.
Police Officers Association.
everyone. Yesterday it was revealed that a fund partly owned by Joe Biden's son, where's Hunter?
took out the world's number one terrorist and the mass murderer of American troops, Kasim Soleimani, is dead. You know, I had the leader of a very important country in my office recently, and he said, and I'll probably refer to the press, they'll say, who is it? He said, thank you, sir. You were the one that got rid of ISIS. I said, I was the one? You're actually giving me credit? He said, absolutely. When you took over, ISIS in Iraq and ISIS in Syria was all over. It was growing at a level like we've never seen. You came in and you absolutely wiped it out. President Mike Pence. They don't get any credit because they want to discredit us as much as possible because they wanted to carry over to November 3rd, but we've done a fantastic job. I think we've probably done the best job of any country, certainly of any major country anywhere in the world. more than half of the jobs that it lost, and if your state was ever allowed to safely reopen by your governor who doesn't have a clue, she's like Joe. We are going to keep on fighting, and we are going to keep on winning, winning. 